while a 14 year old is in custody in Ramsey County pending manslaughter charges. Marquis family is urging the gun's owner to come forward. Coming up tomorrow, former MPD officer Tutau is set to be sentenced after being found guilty of aiding and abetting second degree manslaughter. Tomorrow's sentencing wraps up all of the state's legal cases against the four officers convicted in George Floyd's death. Heidi Wigdahl taking a closer look at Tau's case now, catching us up on what we need to know ahead of the sentencing. Morgan, while former Minneapolis police officers J. Alexander King and Thomas Lane accepted plea deals in their state cases, Tau did not. But instead of going to trial, Tau let Hennepin County Judge Peter Cahill decide the verdict. He now faces sentencing tomorrow. This comes after a legal loss last week on his federal conviction. Tu Tau is back in court on Monday, facing sentencing on state charges. In May, he was found guilty of aiding and abetting second-degree manslaughter. Prior to his conviction, Tao's attorney argued he was not actively taking part in George Floyd's death and that his actions followed his MPD training. Judge Peter Cahill disagreed, calling Tao's actions that day, quote, objectively unreasonable. Cahill added that Tao assisted the other three officers in their crime by holding back concerned bystanders and not rendering medical aid to Floyd when he was clearly suffering. Monday's sentencing comes as Tao is already serving a three-and-a-half-year federal sentence. Back in May 2021, a federal grand jury indicted Tao on two counts of depriving Floyd of his civil rights. He was then sentenced in July 2022. Tao appealed his federal sentence. Just this past Friday, an appellate court panel upheld the federal convictions, ruling that prosecutors presented, quote, sufficient evidence to support the decision. Documents went on to say that, quote, any prosecutorial conduct did not deprive Tao of his right to a fair trial. Tao is the last of the four former Minneapolis police officers to be sentenced at the state level. So where do things stand with the other three? Derek Chauvin, who knelt on Floyd's neck for nine and a half minutes, was sentenced to 22 and a half years in prison for the murder of Floyd. On the federal side, a judge sentenced him to 21 years. He's now serving his state and federal sentences concurrently at a federal prison in Arizona. In July, Chauvin's attorneys said he would appeal his state murder conviction to the U.S. Supreme Court after Minnesota's highest court declined to hear his case. Thomas Lane and J. Alexander King were also convicted in both state and federal court for their roles in Floyd's murder. Tao's sentencing for his state conviction is set for 9 a.m. tomorrow with Judge Cahill. He remains in the custody of Hennepin County Jail. Our Lou Raguse will be at the sentencing. Make sure to check in here tomorrow and at care11.com for the latest. Morgan.